So I recently created an ArtStation account and seeing all of the amazing artwork on there has been really inspiring for me. I've seen a lot of amazing concept artists, environment artists, character artists, and I've wanted to improve some of my skills. So one of the places I thought that I've been neglecting recently is my environmental art. I decided to look for a reference photo that I could use in my camera roll and I stumbled across this one that I took a few years ago. It's of a beach in the Adirondacks, which is a place in northern New York that's really beautiful. There's lots of mountain ranges and forests. And I had taken this picture because I loved the colors in the clouds. And I also liked the single tree silhouette on the horizon. I thought that the simplicity of this photograph would be something that'd be good to use as a starting point for getting back into landscapes. There's not too much going on, so I could put a lot of effort into each of the individual shapes. So the major pieces that I'm looking at here, let me pull up an image. The single tree, the posts that are coming out of the ground, the grass, the beach, the water, the mountains, the clouds, and the sky. And then you could say that the gradient of color in the sky is another element. There's also this really small swimming buoy that you see, and I decided to keep that idea of a focal point there, but instead replace it with a loon instead of the swimming buoy. So that's just a personal preference. Um, so I wanted to take these elements and first block them in. So that's the first thing that I did is I put in really large shapes. And so this was all done in Procreate. And I used the lasso tool to create each of the shapes and I tweaked them until they were exactly the way I wanted them to be. I would select an area with the lasso tool and then paint in with a large textured concept brush. I used that to block everything in. And then I started tweaking the shapes, adding smaller and smaller shapes. One of the decisions that I made was to make the beach curved instead of straight, like in the photo. I wanted to give the water more space, so it was a larger area visually. And I also wanted more of a flowing, rolling look to the composition. I didn't want as many straight, harsh lines. so. That was a decision that I made. Another tweak that I made is I added in some extra diagonal clouds in the top left-hand corner. And this was to just frame the image more. I wanted to have heaviness up there and more of a strong line that would point your eyes down towards like the center of the painting. I also boosted the saturation and lightened the ground, especially in like the beach area, to create more warmth. Because the original reference image, the sand is quite cool, and I wanted to go for something more fun and light. Another tweak that I made was to make the angle of the posts and the grass area more exaggerated, so a more steep angle. And this was just to, first of all, I didn't want to cut the composition off from the viewer as much. I wanted the viewer to have more of an invitation in to the environment. So I wanted to make sure that the line wasn't cutting across the entire bottom half of the composition. This also helps to emphasize perspective. So I really um, blew up the post closest to the viewer and then really shrunk down the one that was far away. One of the most fun places that I had in this painting was actually in the background. Um, it's the hill across the water all the way to the left. There are all these duplicated trees and how I did that was I created some simple shapes and filled them in again the same way that I did with the beach and with all the other shapes using the lasso tool and the concept brush. And then I duplicated them multiple times and stacked and stacked and stacked them. And then I used the adjustments 
in Procreate to skew the hues warmer and cooler just to add variation. And I was able to scale some of the shapes up and down to create this look of a forest. So often in photography, in nature, when you look out at the sky, the sky will be a lighter, less saturated blue right next to the horizon and then as you go up the sky gets deeper in color and also more vibrant so i wanted to emphasize that look because i like to create darker borders around the edges of my images so a sort of vignette but also it's very true to how the sky is naturally so i decided to add that darker blue up the top So I did some analysis after I finished painting everything, and I think it's cool to see how, even though I was making decisions intuitively based on what I thought looked good, you can see like afterwards where those decisions were coming from. So I have the tree on the left is just a bit outside of the thirds of the image, and I wasn't thinking, oh, this needs to be on the thirds, but it just happened that way and then there it is lined up. I also noticed that I have three kind of focal points to me. You could argue that the beams on the left are a focal point too, but for me the three focal points are the tree, this really bright spot in the clouds, and then the loon. And I noticed like the triangle that those three things were making. And I wasn't thinking, oh, I need to have these three focal points when I was painting it, but it just turned out that that was the way everything worked. One of the things I was mindful of while I was painting is making sure that I didn't have lines that were pointing off of the canvas all the way. So for example, we have these sweeping, I, I drew in some arrows to show where these sweeping lines are coming in. So they're coming down with the clouds and then kind of sweeping up and then at the very end they lift back up again. They don't just sweep straight down and off of the canvas. And the same with the sand. So you see it arcs down, down, and then sweeps back up and arcs back around again instead of going straight down off of the canvas. Now having straight lines that cut off and on the canvas is perfectly fine. It's a very energetic look maybe sometimes a bit more aggressive, desolate. And I wanted to make this piece have flow and movement, but also have a calming effect to it. I wanted it to be a place that you could stay. So I didn't want the viewer to be shooting off the sides of the canvas visually. I wanted them to be like gently like brought back. So you're just brought back to this nice beach. <laughs> you're brought back to this nice beach environment over and over again. Um, or at least that's the, that's the idea behind it. Um, but anyway, I think that is all that I had to say about this one. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I did post all of these, um, what would you call them? Analysis images? All of these images that I made, like breaking down my thought process, I post them on Patreon. And if you want to be somebody who gets like an earlier access to all of my processes behind the stuff that I'm making, that is the best place to see that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.